Welcome to this week's uh, Wednesday web chat. This is Carl Lewis. I'm pleased to be with you this week. Um, this week kind of marks a demarcation in our Wednesday web chat agenda. For many, many years, we've been asked, uh, can we do some sort of business one training? And while it's really hard to accomplish that for all of our customers around the country, this year we decided that a big part of our Wednesday web chat agenda is going to be SAP Business One Basics. So we're not going to cover a lot of advanced features, but we're going to cover a lot of the, the, the basic parts of how to operate Business One. And today we're going to start with the first part of a two-part series on purchasing. And in a couple of weeks we'll do a two-part series on sales and so forth until we kind of cover Business One top to bottom from a basics point of view. Please know that every one of these sessions is going to be recorded and posted, so you'll always be able to come back to it. It incorporates both a slide presentation and a real demonstration of the software. So I hope that you find these helpful. Please know that you can ask questions. We have a large group today of about 23 or so, and growing it looks like. So please, you can ask questions in the question box. I'll do my best to try to answer them along the way or at the end, if at all possible. All right, so let's begin today with purchasing basics in SAP Business One. The contents of this particular um, purchasing basics course are going to be an introduction to the procurement process. We'll talk about purchasing items and purchasing services and troubleshooting issues in purchasing. The sections on purchasing service services and troubleshooting issues in purchasing will be next week in part two of this two-part series on purchasing. In this unit, you'll master the basic steps of the procurement process for purchasing items or services. You'll understand the consequences of each step on inventory and accounting to some degree, or at least have an idea of them. And at the end, you should be able to handle some issues that arise with a vendor's delivery and billing. Part one is about the purchase order to the invoice, the basic purchase process from purchase order to goods receipt and to invoice. The business examples that we're going to be using. You purchase your warehouse goods from external vendors, and normally you use the purchase order document to order goods. In some cases, however, you submit your order by phone and your vendor delivers the items immediately. And in this case, the process modeled in the system must be as short and as quick as possible, meaning I don't have to start with a purchase